it degenerated from mental attraction, likeness to dislike and almost hate is what we cannot understand. Hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Vicky and if you've seen me for the very first time, hi! Please do not forget to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that YouTube will inform you whenever I post a new video and please guys check me out on my personal channel where I do videos on motherhood, lifestyle, vlogs and every other interesting videos in between. You really 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 love it there. Please 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 guys subscribe to that channel just to support your girl for those of you who just like me, for those of you who just just fancies me and for those of you who just genuinely want to support my hustle here on YouTube. Please go to that channel and support me. Get your girl to 1000 subscriber. The name of the channel is Vicky M. The link is always in the description and pinned in the comment section. Okay? So guys I want to talk about the situation like the problem, the beef that is actually going on between Erica and Lacon. Like, I do not understand how it went from here to where it is right now. It just went from a zero to hundred all of a sudden. The whole likeness, the whole mental attraction stuff just went to zero. In fact, it is even more intensified this week. That's why I just felt the need to talk about it. It all started on Sunday when Ebuka actually asked Lacon what he felt about the Kid Wire and Erica relationship. And Lacon was like, he just doesn't pay attention to it. I don't really pay attention to them that much. Well, I asked that because you said quite a few times to a couple of people saying that she's tried to kiss you a number of times. So that means you might be a distraction. Isn't that what you think? And Debuka also asking Lacon that he keeps telling other housemates that Erica wanted to kiss him and that really, really, really got Erica pissed off. So why do you, why do you keep saying that she wants to kiss you or, or why do you think she wants to kiss you, like you said? Um, it was... Something that happened when she was intoxicated, so I'm pretty sure that was the reason why that happened. Not because, yeah, that exactly, she doesn't remember, so she was intoxicated. It happened just once? A couple of times. Okay. So guys, moving on, after the eviction show, I think Erica went to confront Lacon to ask him like, when did I want to kiss you? And you're even saying several, you understand? Like, not once you get... And Lacon was like, he actually doesn't want to talk about it. Though Kayode did not show us that clip, but Lacon was discussing with Neo and V. Yes, but me, I don't want to talk about her anymore. No. But she don't tell us Lacon they talk about uh, her. I'm like, saying, you know, say, say all those things, no, perhaps, say, which one you come on, you can't leave Lacon look less. What? Guy, relax. <laughs> Oh, God, I don't want to concern you, guy. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what just happened in my room. She came and said she wants to talk. I said, I don't want to talk about it. Because, believe me, you see. When she... You... Oh, man. I, I was see. sick. And then Erica also confirmed it in her diary section, telling Biggie that she went to confront Lacon, but Lacon refused to talk about it. And I went to meet him. I'm like, okay, Lacon, tell me now. Tell me the time. Like, you can't tell me... A couple of times or you can't tell the public i tried to kiss you a couple of times i don't like liars i feel like he's a liar and he's, he's i don't know if he's just trying to do this to me very relevant in the show i honestly don't know but why is he always talking about me every time erica even called lacon a liar that lacon is just using her for clothes and i'm just like jesus christ these people you guys should just get a hold of yourself and do not have misunderstanding over things you don't even know about i don't understand how it really got to that point then it was time for the nomination process Erica went ahead to nominate Lacon and V. You know that maybe ever since that Sunday, she has always had a thing or she has always been like beefed up with Lacon and V. So she had to nominate the both of them. V and Lacon. Kindly confirm your nominations to Big Brother. Lacon and V. I'm like, Jesus Christ, this thing has not gotten to this yet. But at this very moment, after the nomination show, because Erica won the head of house challenge, um, Lacon actually went outside to speak with Trickity and they were just talking about the people that they really liked in the house. And Lacon also said that he likes Erica the most in the house and maybe two other housemates, I think, um, Praise and V. I will tell you one thing now. In this house, I like, feel like very... The three people that I know that I care so much about in this house. Uh, first person is Erica. Second person is V. Third 
the person don't come out, please. Are you from your team? Yes. I am social. That was new. Yeah, I like me on new than I do. It was sick. Erica that same night also went ahead to talk to the um, kid wire that she is going to insult Lekon whenever Ebuka asks Lekon any question again on Sunday concerning her or concerning she and Kid Wire and he says anything rubbish, she is going to interrupt him and just start insulting him. You get doesn't exist. Let me see what you say about me again. Okay? And the next time Ebuka should ask me a question is if it has anything to say about me, I'm going to interrupt him and insult him there. Let you know that yeah, I'm not like I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in you in any way. She stop it. And that she does not even want her name to be associated with Lacon whenever her name is being googled. Oh Jesus Christ! Well, I don't want you, when you Google my name, you see my name linked to him as well. I can try to kiss this person. What the fuck? Someone I'm not even attracted to. It's annoying. It's very annoying. I have no idea. Well, now I'm controlling the narrative. I'm not going to utter a word to him. I'm not going to say, like, if it's, I'm going to ignore him like he doesn't exist. But let me just talk about this whole drama that has been happening, guys. Lekon really, really liked Erica, and Erica actually liked Lekon, though she termed it a mental attraction, which is more or less like <laughs> since I was born, this is the first time I'm really hearing it constantly. Mental attraction, mental attraction, you get, and they were really vibing, you get. I think that we, because of the way that Lekon couldn't, Lekon has been trying to handle it, and Erica cannot handle the fact that Lekon wants some space to be able to heal. It, it just all degenerated to um, Erica always feeling like Lekon doesn't like her or Lekon is beefing her and sometimes Lekon out of the fact that he wants to heal up he keeps talking about Erica to other housemates maybe not from a bad place maybe just trying to you know the more you talk about certain things most people heal differently the more you talk about certain things the more you heal from it so I feel like Lekon that's what Lekon was actually trying to do he keeps talking about Erica to maybe somebody like V to new and they just keep having a conversation some of them encouraged him like v keeps telling lekon to forget about erica to move on and i don't see it like v was saying it from a bad place anyway but because she was just looking out for her friend so erica in the other hand who always who i feel she she doesn't like people having issues with her she always wants to go and confront and clear the air with people and one thing she must know is not everybody would definitely like you but erica seems to be like she wants to be on everybody's good book she doesn't want you to have issues with her and if for any reason if she can manage the situation she, she comes to you to manage the situation so erica cannot just handle the fact that lacon is not talking to her she just sees it like it's hate or like lacon is wishing wishing her bad or lacon is really not happy for her so the whole way this thing just degenerated from just some sort of connection to the like this like they are way apart and erica is taking it to the extreme i really do not know about i've really not heard lacon speaking illly like really saying it as if he really really hates erica you get i've really not heard it but the way erica has really taken it she has taken it to the extreme like she's in for lacon she does not want to have she said lacon should not mention her name and lacon has tried his possible best saying that he actually doesn't want to be talking about erica anymore i just hope they find a balanced ground because yes not be everybody with girl good friend and if they're no friend you you have to learn to deal with it so i i just hope that this housemate just find a way to balance it because it has degenerated from mental attraction and lacon liking erica to erica almost hating Lacon and Lacon just standing aloof and just watching what is going on and then the fans are beginning to be a problem they are beginning to like like they are beginning to challenge each other you know sometimes most of these housemates when they come out their problem mostly tends to tend to be their fans because the more the fans put their mouth into their issues it intensifies it and then now that Erica also nominated Lacon and Lacon is up for possible eviction. They have been dragging Erica, like Erica's fans and Lacon's fans has been dragging each other on social media and I just cannot, you guys should take a chill pill. Chill, these guys are there to make their money and you're just there dragging yourself, insulting yourself, talking rubbish about each, uh, about each other because it's not even for them, you get. So that's just it. I just felt like I should come and tell you guys that Erica and Lacon they are in for a long ride. They are even really, really beefing each other and just being like they want to start tearing each other apart with Erica championing the beef at the moment. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe consider to hit on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that youtube will inform you whenever i post any video and please go visit me on my personal channel there you'll see more of my personal life the link is always in the description and pinned in the comment section thank you so very much for watching my video and i'll most definitely see you in my next one bye guys